Hans, rest of the cast. Mm-hmm. I mean, John and Brandon should both be around. Well, we know Brandon's coming. There he is. <gasps> it's a grill. John should be around, but I don't know about the LA fuckboys. I think Blacklight's eat, you eating That's your true. cookies. Right. We're going to one right now. Yeah. It's delish. I'm just being super careful about crumbs because I got ants again. Oh, shit, dude. Yep. Ants in the apartment. That's no good. Mm-hmm. No good. It happened the worst possible time. Like, so there's a rainstorm that happened very recently that's, like, very rare for San Francisco. And basically, like, the whole area shuts down. And also, I don't have a car, so I have to ride my bike everywhere. So I couldn't go out and buy anything to, like, repel the ants. Um, and at the same time, I also got sick. And I had no medicine in my house, like, no oh, cough God. medicine or anything. And I also could not run out to, like, get any of that. So that sucked. So all I did was just, like, like all I had in my house for both the ants and for um, my sickness was lemon juice. Because apparently... There's there's vitamin C in lemon juice and also ants don't like lemon juice. So it was like kind of swabbing everything <laughs> with lemon juice and then also just making a shitload of like lemon water to drink. And that actually kind of worked for both things. <laughs> this is like this is a really, really light cold. Like it's really not bad. And then eventually I ended up. Um, I found some talcum powder and apparently ants hate talcum powder. So that actually worked wonders. And then eventually I was able to buy some ant traps yesterday. Seriously, becoming upset, Skype. Your stupid ass changes. Stupid ass changes. It looks so ugly, too. It's fucking terrible. It's horrible. APL Fisher went to 7 Eleven, bros. That's why he's not here. But he is coming, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. He'll be he's here. not going to spend the next two and a half hours at 7 Eleven. I mean, he might. This is he APL. Might. Scott Fisher, we're talking about here. You never, you can never know. I'm gonna spend yet another keyboard plus mouse or die gaming podcast holding a controller. <laughs> Those cookies are so fucking good. Ripping pepperons. Is Enfan on the cast? I don't know yet. That I don't know. Pretty hit or miss with that guy. <laughs> oh, I should probably get chat open. I'm not seeing what anyone's saying. Broccoli 7. Dan, I want to rub that beard on my inner thighs. <laughs> Give you good tickling, sir. Or ma'am. I don't know. Your way. I made an account just for this. <laughs> what an account name. Delicious. I have cookies and milk, guys. This cast. I have cookies and coffee. You just made is... more cookies tonight. Oh, my God. Yeah, I would love to come to that, uh, to the, the holiday thing that you guys are doing, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make it out. Yeah, it's a bit of a drive after already yeah. traveling. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it's like right after I I touch down basically. So, and I don't know. It's like it's a couple days after I touch down, but I'm also gonna be running around trying to like buy presents for people because I haven't bought. Right. I have. I think on my Christmas list this year is probably like five people in my family and then two of my friends. And out of all of those people, it's one friend is all I've bought for so far. That's it. <laughs> Everyone else, I'm basically going to touch down, go to the mall, and try to get in like one shopping trip. And I don't know when I'm getting anyone. My dad's impossible to buy for. My brother's impossible to buy for. I don't really know my brother-in-law all that well yet. Should be fun. I don't know when to get to, to get my one friend because normally, like, I buy him all kinds of like gaming paraphernalia and stuff, like you know, like plushies mm -hmm. and statues and stuff, because he really likes collectible stuff. Yeah. Um, but his room is now complete. He lives at his parents' house and he has this like tiny little room and 
it's just like chock full of stuff, like chock full of all the stuff that he buys himself and that I buy for him and that all his other friends buy for him. He has nowhere else to put like any more statues or anything. So <laughs> I figure I should probably do something else, but I don't know what. So um, <coughs> luckily my son doesn't listen to the podcast mainly because he's six. I would um, I hope not. <laughs> That would be some bad parenting. Yes, um, yes it would. <laughs> uh, but I'm getting him Minecraft on the PS3 so he can play it downstairs because they installed like all the horrible shit on my wife's computer. Like, trying to get... He was trying to like get mods and stuff. Just clicked oh, on random yeah. things. Um, and then I'm getting him... Uh, oh, Gilded Irishman, thank you for subscribing. Hey... Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm also going to get the, uh, and this is partially for me, but mostly for him. I'm getting the, uh, Blu-ray Star Wars collection. Nice. Because he's never seen the originals yeah, or the course. prequels for that. He's never seen any of them except for, you know, like the Clone Wars series and stuff. You uh, should honestly have him watch the, the sequels or the prequels rather, cause he's going to love them now. Right. And then when he's an adult, he can go back and watch them and have his nostalgia crush when he realizes they're shit. Yeah. <laughs> have it all. And that'll be an important life lesson for him. It's important to learn that not everything you watched as a kid was actually good. Exactly. <clears throat> so I've shouted out the show Mask on here before, but it definitely follows in falls into that category. Mask is fucking terrible. You know what else is not really that good? It's the X Men animated series. Yeah, no, it's not. It's, it's like not, not terrible, but it's like it's also like some of the worst animation ever made. Like oh, yeah. The really animation like, itself is so it's, fucking horrible. It's, it's really like <laughs> slow and awkward. Yeah. It's like like action sequences like happen in slow motion, but like not purposefully. Like if mm-hmm. like Wolverine like jumps at a guy and he's like <laughs> it's it's like really fucking bad. I don't know. Like we only had this that, five no FPS camera, it. dog. <laughs> Basically, like I don't I don't know how you fucked that up so bad, but it was yeah, it was not good. Was they really had those things where when animation. they would zoom out on the scene, like even main characters would just become colored blobs. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like Storm's outfit was white, so you just saw a black head and white streak behind it. Like that was yep. it. Like Yeah. Because they were just like, We're not gonna animate this. What's the fucking point? <laughs> yeah, it's like the kind of shit you see in like a web comic. Yeah. It's like on a on like a very high budget, like <laughs> right. studio produced show in the nineties. Like how cheap were licenses back in the day, you know? Jeez, I don't know, man. Like Looking at some some of like the like some of the licensed shit that has come out of like different studios in the past, like from otherwise really good, like prestigious right. kinds of kinds of uh, franchises. Like, I mean, just look at the Zelda CDI games. That shit was outsourced to Russia. <laughs> like, yeah, actually, if you like, watch any children's animation now, any of it, it, unless it's Adult Swim for the most part or Cartoon Network shit for the most part, like produced by Cartoon Network, not just shown on there. Yeah. It is all outsourced to India. Fucking DreamWorks yeah. Pictures, all their shit is done in India. Yep. Like, um, there's also there's also a trend uh, in the past couple of years where everything is done in Flash, and it hmm. all looks like shit. Like every children's cartoon, like uh, like Foster's, um, and like Foster's is a pretty funny show from what I've seen, but the animation is pretty garbage. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know that My Little Pony. Uh, um, a series that like all the dudes flipped out over that shit's done in flash like everything is done in flash and it's just like super lazy and like not good right um, but then then occasionally you get like an actual good like hand drawn comic like um regular show looks like shit but it's kind of purposeful yeah so regular show is pretty good and um adventure time adventure time is hand drawn as well APL got phenomenal. killed on the way to the he might have <laughs> He lives in L.A., so I feel like that's a pretty mm-hmm. pretty significant risk that he's taking every time he leaves his apartment. <laughs> that's why him and Nick are such shut-ins. They only leave under cover of darkness to attend <laughs> EDM shows and <laughs> do Molly. Oh, God. Wait a minute. 
This is a fucking amazing email. Holy shit. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that one going at the bottom. <laughs> Tonberries are such assholes. They really are, but I farm the shit out of them. I farm the shit out of them. I already got all my ribbons, though. Like in FF7, the only way to get a third ribbon is to uh, morph one. Yeah. Which is I hard. because I farmed like, them for... Um, they dropped like the best elixirs or whatever. Mega, yeah, yeah, mega elixirs. Yeah, um, they dropped those. You can also steal elixirs off of them. Yeah, there are also enemies that are less like abysmally rare that drop them. So there's no point really in trying to steal because if you if you steal an item from an enemy, they won't drop an item. Hmm. But yeah, you can farm them for elixirs, and that's I'm just farming AP right now because I'm trying to end my let's play tonight and. I need uh, I need five levels in final attack and Phoenix so that I can come back to life five times against Emerald Weapon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. 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 So basically or you, you just get farm. that mind chain rolling, baby. Well, yeah, but um, you need you basically like the strategy for Emerald specifically is he counterattacks with I think it's the stomp attack whenever you hit his main body and all of his eyes are alive. So you're always going to take a stomp attack whenever his eyes revive. Hmm. If the eyes are all dead, then you can attack his body with impunity, relatively speaking. But for the most part, like you need you need to be able to take one hit and just die and come back to life. And you need to do that several times. It's fucking dumb. Oh, I think God. For, for Ruby, I'm just going to farm dazers off that one. There's an Ruby. Enemy. I went in everyone dead on Ruby. Yeah, all, all dead. But one all dead. But cloud and then. Uh, <laughs> and then. Um, Used a res and got sit up and then mime chained. Yep. That's yeah, that's generally like. the way to do it. Another way to do it is like so that you can use Knights of the Round. Like anytime you use Knights of the Round, he's like coded to immediately respond with Ultima. But he won't do that if he's paralyzed and he's susceptible to paralysis, but only via an item called Dazers. Oh, OK. And you just farm Dazers off of this one enemy up in um up in the Lost City where Eris dies. And uh you just spam days. Spoilers, out guys. <laughs> yeah. In case in case you somehow miss these 15 year old spoilers and the memes that came out of her. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, a friend of mine cosplays dead heiress where she just walks around the con center with a sword sticking out of her. That's pretty funny, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, APL, let's see if you're living. Do we have an Apple Fisher? John is in a ESEA like match or not ESEA, but some league. He will be on though. <clears throat> what is he even playing? Counter Strike? Counter Strike, yeah. Some league match for Counter Strike. I didn't know he was like competing. I didn't either. But oh, there's APL. At least the answer he picked up. I don't want to talk about fucking 7-Eleven near my house. We're over it. Let's We're fucking it. talk about it, dude. No, let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about the fact that it took 15 <laughs> minutes to buy some fucking a drink and a bag of chips because there was a guy at the counter claiming that the Muslim motherfucker, I'm using his words, these are air quotes, the Muslim motherfucker behind the counter was racist and charging him five oh. cents more for his malt liquor. So that, that took about 10 minutes. So, oh my god yeah go. we had that's speculated my, my that you were gonna die almost every time to be honest yeah but can we at least I try to the fact that you could buy malt liquor at a 7-eleven here <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> what a state uh, yeah that's true it is good it is nice i always forget that when i go back home and you can't <laughs> yeah. buy alcohol everywhere yeah you can buy it a lot more places now though you'll be pleasantly you? surprised yeah yeah <laughs> scott fisher confirmed proxy racist Proxy racist. What? Is that a term? What is that? That's new to me. When I, I visited a friend up at IUP one time, uh, and oh, we kept going. We were we were at this party at a, at like one of his friends' house, and it was and we kept leaving to make beer runs because you couldn't really like. It was, it was like thank you for subscribing. Away. Thank you, sir. Sorry. Thank you. No problem. It was like a block <laughs> away, and you couldn't really like buy cases there. It was just like like forties, and that was about it. But yeah. at the same time, everyone only it was a little pizza shop. So, you know, you could you could buy you could buy like, you know, some booze there as long as you were of age. It wasn't like a liquor store or anything. Um, and they only they only really had like 40s and single bottles. But also every single college student there 
pretty much only use it as like a beer dispenser. Like they did. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I went, I was like, oh, should I get a slice of pizza here? And he was like, what? I was like, I was like, I'm hungry. Should I get a slice of pizza? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> I've never had the pizza here. <laughs> and like all the friends, we, uh, all the, all of our friends of his that we were with were just like, yeah, I've never actually got pizza here. And I'm just like, I'm looking around and like not a single person. There are a couple people like sitting down at tables. Not a single one of them has pizza. <laughs> There's like maybe one pizza like in, in like the display case. I was yeah, just like, like, holy shit. Well, speaking of 7-Eleven pizza, I mean, Orb cannot stop jizzing his pants about because he's obviously oh. going to be coming to the U.S. And he won't stop talking about 7-Eleven pizza like it's the, uh, you know, the, the magnum truth. opus of the truth of 7-Eleven. But, oh, man. I just don't know how many it's going to take until either, one, he just straight up gets cancer from it. Or, two, he just, you know, he, he eats himself into, into, into back to his former shape. Which yeah. I don't know what will come first. Actually, but. wasn't he skinny before his like? Uh, I, yeah. I think I think he was scrawny. He was scrawny. For he's a gonna while. he's gonna eat himself into a new shape, which is fat. <laughs> it's just gonna be a new new shape. Which which is which is referred to as American shaped. <laughs> That's he's going right. there. That's right. He's gonna look like one of us, maybe. He's Brandon, gonna... I really like the color of that shirt, man. It brings out your eyes. Am I the only one? Am I the only one that thinks that that brings out Brandon's eyes? Can we? Beautiful. Yeah, it eyes. really does. Actually. It does. Now it really does. They it. compliments. It's good to see. I love to see that. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. John is John is going to be here. He's in like a CS match for something. I don't. He's in a league of he's some playing, sort. He's playing uh, ACL. Yeah. Oh, yes. Um, Nork Proton has not answered, but. You know, he's probably trying to get Halo to work. Um, <laughs> if only someone knew his whereabouts. <laughs> let me let me give you the last known whereabouts. The kitchen smells like bread, so he's baking beer bread, and he's may or I don't know if he's in the zoo closet. I can't confirm that. <laughs> I think he's in his room. So Megan wants to go to the zoo closet so bad, and I'm like, you don't want any part of the zoo closet. Listen, people go in the zoo closet; they're never seen again. So it's, it's her. She can take the risk if she'd like. So it's her. She might go into Narnia or something. You don't ever know what you're going to see in the zoo closet. No, you oh. really don't. It's kind of terrifying. Yeah. PM LaRocco seems to be just a hate machine on me tonight. He's like, everything I've seen him say is just like, fuck blah, more or less. Like, come at me, bro. Dude, would you like to fisticuffs? <laughs> Fight me a like, podcast, bro. Well, whenever, whenever, like whenever you feel like that, genitals. you can just say, are, "Is he on the podcast? Is he? Is he in?" No. <laughs> so his opinion doesn't matter. So just say, that. <laughs> oh, "Wow." Actually, you except just, your you just opinion, our entire community. I know, but I've, I'm really feeling it tonight. Like I'm really feeling the <laughs> fuck the fans hashtag. Also, oh, yeah. um, <laughs> we you weren't here last week actually for your really. Did you happen to see the email, Dan? Did he see the email? I, I did. I did. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to. I just wanted to see. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Many great men have told have been told that their beliefs were wrong, mm. only to prove the world wrong. <laughs> Damn it! You know, I'm just Galloway, so amazed that someone did the, real. Flat, and before Black Light Attack, everybody thought that bacon was a, was a suitable meat to put on a sandwich alone. I just don't think that's a stance that will ever catch on. I just don't. I don't see it. Like Trashiest the world being round. Subscribed. Yeah. How about Trashiest, that? Trashiest. Finally. Thank you. Weeks in the making for this sub. Thank you, Trash. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, so someone with the Twitter handle PenisAss69 says a question, which <laughs> I guess is probably relating to your stream, Scott, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it on here anyway because I have a theory about this myself. So, PenisAss69. PenisAss69. <laughs> Good name. <laughs> good name, good uh, name. Uh, <laughs> um. What is this picture? Holy shit. <laughs> I, canine, what the fuck? Anyway. Hedgy just subscribed. Thank you for the sub, Hedgy. The subs right now. Nice. Don't it's a don't mini worry. train going. Don't I can't worry, play the Coors Light train again, beard. guys. I can't play it on the podcast, unfortunately. 
I decided a while ago, Crazy Cookies, I'm, I'm keeping the beard. The only thing I, I Beard life, bro. I finally ordered a, uh, a beard trimmer and it shows up and it's like, you know, one of the one of the rules is you always use your your longest uh, guard first, like the nine millimeter or whatever you have. Mm -hmm. And then and then go down until you get the length you want, you know, just reduce in size right, until right. You get the length you want. Mine came with two six millimeters and no nine millimeter, which is supposed to be the biggest. So I'm kind of pissed. I had to email them. They're actually pretty good about getting back to me right away, and they're just like, I just need to decide what email or, or what address to give them because I don't know if I'm going to be home or home <laughs> when when it gets to me. But I'm kind of pissed because I really want to trim my beard. <laughs> it needs it. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it went out. Holy it's shit! Out. Yeah, I missed it. Oh, I have too much shit. I need a third monitor again. It's been too long. <clears throat> Hashtag just manly things. Good lord. Viewer questions this week Rough are godlike, life. let me tell you. I mean, Nick Fenton did see Young Lean live this weekend, so. Uh -huh. Young Lean. <laughs> I can't believe you went and saw Young Lean. God. I'm dunking cookies and milk, boys. Some classic shit right here. Dunk on something. You want to know what his two-word review of Young Lean was? What? Really good. Really <laughs> good. That was his review when it came out. I was like, how was he? He's like, really good. I was like, all right. There you go. <laughs> young Lean. The most young of leans. Yep. There's a John. Yeah, so Someone is giving God, his hair stuff. looks good all the fucking time. It's like, all the time, he's even, You can't even keep it down with that headset. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's fucking cheating. Because, because it's Sunday and I did I absolutely did not shower because I slept until like three. Dude, if you like if you like then how is the hair still good? That's what we don't get. Be no, because dude, it's, it's greasy. That's why Yeah, if you don't uh, shower for like a day, your hair actually looks good. Any more than that, it's gonna start it's gonna have like visible grease and it's gonna be like grimy, but that little extra grease from one day, your hair is yeah. gonna look pretty fantastic. I was I when I was when I was at my old uh, when I was at my old job, I never actually like saw people or like interacted with people day to day, <laughs> and I never ever exercised. So I w I shower like every other day instead of every day, and it was just like my hair was great every other day. Sean, a wild sex symbol appears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> It's like it's like on the 24/7 uh, Dan James knew he was like I don't like to wash my hair because it looks way better when it's greasy. He does. He I mean he knows the secret as well. Mine looks just terrible all the time. So there you go. <laughs> Blossom so manly shaves with nine millimeter bullets. <laughs> Free mind. What are you talking about? You talking about the, the like the hair trimmer? Yeah. <laughs> like, I can. I, I'm not really experimenting with cutting my own hair. It's like that's just for my beard. I just it's I get bro. my hair cut once every like three months. So. It's not exactly <laughs> expensive. <clears throat> Tried it out on my junk yesterday. Did you? Yeah, How it was, was way that? too short. I haven't used an automatic. And my bush is like, I, was, I used to be proud of that. It's all gone. Damn, Six dude. Six millimeters is a lot shorter than I thought. <laughs> well, it looks like a small child now down there. <laughs> Oh, no, no, we do not have a penis like this. <laughs> oh, God. Like this. Can we not, can we not talk? <laughs> oh, no. I'm oh, no. <laughs> we really... Can we get through our sponsors before we start nuking our... Uh, right, <laughs> oh, no. I see, I see Casey Tron contest winner... Rotendo in chat and fellow fellow finalist <laughs> Rotendo in chat. Rotendo and I were both finalists in the Casey Tron Photoshop contest. Yours were both good. Yours was the Godzilla one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was Rotendo's? What was she had the nun. Yeah, nun Tron. Oh, the nun. Yeah, the <laughs> it was, was so good. good. So fucking good. <sighs> God damn it, Dale Z. Get the fuck out of here. Memes in my jeans. Are you talking about public hair? <laughs> That's like the best type of hair. Public hair. That's my public hair. I have the entire ocarina sheet music tatted on my dick. <laughs> I'm like the illustrated man for like, you know, 
<laughs> so, like less than a foot of me. <laughs> I someday this stream will be brought to you by Dollar Shave Club, and then what will you do? Oh man, I need to. They I sponsor need to a lot of podcasts. I was thinking about joining that, and then I just grew a beard instead, and then it seemed kind of counterintuitive. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. I'm yeah, unable I, to shave right now because my hand. So, <laughs> <laughs> Ro, please, just like, please do frame that, like, please. <laughs> Who won the Casey Con the Casey Tron contest? Orb. What? No, it was Ro. Ro won. Ro won. Yeah. <laughs> this already feels like a good podcast. I hope it is. <clears throat> it's going. We're gonna bring back. By the way, when are we gonna bring back the ice bucket challenge? Can I come back? I really miss that. Nah, dude. It's done. <clears throat> is it's it done. gone forever? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I just I want to raise awareness, uh, like the Baja Bucket Challenge for atheism. I don't feel like it's getting enough uh, credit, <laughs> the especially Baja recently. Bucket Challenge. Baja Bucket, yeah. You just fill it with, uh, you get a twelve pack and you fill a bucket and you pour it on your that, head. And that is such work. a waste. But why would you I, waste all that Baja Blast? No, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's foolish. You're, you're wasting a rare commodity. Eh, Look, see, I've done a lot of crazy like, shit for charity, anything, all right? But I'm anything, not wasting you bring Baja a Blast. To Taco Bell and have somebody distract the employees while you load that shit up. On the fountain. That's kind of the point, though. Like, we're so held down as atheists in this country that <laughs> we're willing to waste the thing that makes us who we are. Like, that's, if you really think about it, that's it's like how you get like, people excited. It's like self immolation. So like, exactly. Exactly. Throw gotcha. up your slash tips in the chat. Thank you. <laughs> 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 the soggy bagel challenge would not be very good on YouTube, oh, I feel. Boy. No. I feel like that no. would. Is that really a challenge? <laughs> it's more like a party, I guess. I don't know. Not that hard. <laughs> no, it's not very hard at all. <laughs> it's really hard for the guy who's last. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it depends on the day. Sometimes I'm agnostic. Sometimes I'm atheist. Sometimes I'm a full-blown uh, Christian again. It just depends okay, on the day. Seriously, in, depends on in your unboxes. Yeah, 10 minutes, day. we've only gotten 77 retweets. That's pretty bad. It's like, it's it's like bad. a joke. <laughs> I'm so agnostic. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, God right. damn it. I will admit I didn't retweet yet, so I'm going to do that now. Oops. Wow. He really has a Baja Blast emote set. That's amazing. Wow. wow. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> I still have like a, a tw like a a pack and a half in my fridge that will probably never be drunk before it expires. A bomb? Yep. <laughs> you won't even you won't even break your your Doesn't new expire. lifestyle for. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's a good point too. It's I several times that I've stuff been. That's will outlive you. <laughs> no, true. soda absolutely expires. I learned that at my old job. Cause my really? my bosses, the owner is like sixty five, and you know how old people just like save shit forever. <laughs> <laughs> that is one, 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 of, people. one, one of our employees. <laughs> one of our employees retired, and they were like getting all the stuff for the for the retire for the retirement party, and they serve us like you know uh, his his both his wife and her and his sister and uh, his sister in law both worked there, and the sister in law was like, oh oh, I have soda, and they're all like old as fuck. And she's like, oh, I have soda. I'll bring the soda. And she brings this fucking expired ass like Diet Coke mm. and like only Diet. It was like Diet Coke and like <laughs> ginger ale. And it was, was and it was horrible. fucking and both of them were expired. And I was like, well, I need caffeine or something. I didn't drink any because I don't like either of those things. And uh, I was still drinking soda back then. But <laughs> the next day I go in and there's still some left over from the party. And I'm like, oh, I need caffeine. I forgot to like buy a coffee on my way into work. So I'm just going to grab one of these Diet Cokes for the caffeine. And I drank it. It, was just, it just tasted like pure seltzer water. And yeah. so I like I was like, oh, so like I dump it out. And it was like basically it looked like watered down uh, uh, like Coke. Oh. You know, it was like it was like mostly yeah. with like a little bit of brown to it. Oh. And then and then after I poured out everything that would pour out, I like kind of like was swinging it back and forth, like not shaking it. But like and I felt all this weight in the bottom. Oh, so man, the syrup, the syrup is separated. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> 
So I had taken like oh. a swig of basically like expired seltzer water that was slightly Diet Coke flavored. That's so gross, dude. Yeah, so so soda absolutely expires and it just takes several years. But <laughs> I've almost I've almost drunk the blast a couple of times when I got up and like needed caffeine and didn't feel like making coffee or running out and getting the some, blast. <laughs> the blast. Put me on blast. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> a couple a couple of times I've almost succumbed to the Baja. Almost. It's gonna happen. I'm gonna be like I'm gonna it's be hung a, over one know. day. <clears throat> Sometimes you need it in your life. I'm trying to think if there's anybody at at home that like really <laughs> likes Baja Blast that I can use this as a Christmas present for, but I just don't <gasps> Oh shit. That's what I'm bringing that's what I'm bringing to the white elephant. I'm mm. bringing I'm bringing the unopened case to the white elephant me and my friends are doing tomorrow. There you go. Boom. It's going to be the hit. People are going to be stealing that shit left and right. <laughs> yes. I have so an unopened glass bottle of Coke for the 1988 Kentucky Derby. Oh my you God. You should drink that shit, bro. It's the bottle it's worth and not the actual contents. Yeah, I remember. It see how it tastes. I had a Coke from the 92 Penguin Stanley Cup. Uh -huh. I. I have the Cal Ripken, not open it. I have a Cal Ripken Jr. retirement season Coke that still uh, has Coke in it that my friend told me would be more valuable. And I was like, I just want to drink it. He's like, don't you dare open it. And so I never <laughs> did. And it's still, yeah, it's just flat as shit. It looks I was like, it's horrible. There was a little while that I like collected like nerdy and stupid like energy drinks. Uh, so I had like, you know, if you ever go into like like FYE or something, they have all these like dumbass energy drinks like a Donkey Kong and like a Pac-Man energy drink. And when they first started coming out, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. It's like drinks that are related to video games. I'm going to buy those and like put them on a shelf somewhere. And then I ended up like after a couple of years, I was like, oh, you know what? This is really fucking stupid. So I just got rid of them. And I was just like cracking them and pouring out, pouring them out. So they were like super expired. The smell that came out of those cans was just like I was like, is this what these smelled like when you actually could drink them? Because this is like not not OK. <laughs> it, was just, like, it was like pure chemicals and like a slight fruitiness to it. It smelled it smelled like fucking what like like ant poison and and like some <laughs> flavor of like vape pen. What does ant poison smell like? Like have you taken uh, those little cans of ant poisoning and smelled them? Like when you spray it, you you can't you like smell it a little bit. It's like that, that really like chemical caps. like Yeah, like yeah, this I know is not what you something mean. I want to put in my body because yeah. it's literally poison. Wait, that's, that's what these energy drinks smelled like. This is a great one. Sauce Fancy. I used to have a Jeff Gordon mango energy drink from 2005. <laughs> I didn't know Jeff Gordon had an energy drink. That makes, I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> Jeff Gordon was the... He's still pretty hot, isn't he? <laughs> is he? I, mean, I, don't I don't know. know. I, don't know. I don't think... One thing about NASCAR is you can NASCAR's. just do that until you're like a billion years old. And I don't right. Yeah, I, I can drive a car. Yeah. A wall, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, it's not at all like a game of reflexes, so no, not at all. It doesn't matter. <laughs> should we get into the whole are NASCAR athlete are they athletes debate? So should we go down that road? Are I they? don't think anybody actually cares enough to get into yeah, not, debate. Yeah, that's true. Not NASCAR. in this podcast. No, that's no, true. no. Having I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't think care I'm at all. I just no. used to hear that debate all the time. People used to do like good old Jeff. <laughs> God damn it. Are we ready? Jeff Gordon was, you know what? I just want to real quick say something real that's real disappointing about Jeff Gordon. Jeff Gordon always like he kind of looked like a he was like a Tom Cruise looking <laughs> motherfucker, like drove like. But he is the most like as far as his voice, the most boring, dull. Like every time Jeff Gordon talks, I almost pass out. He's so boring. He's like real <laughs> southern draw. And I was like, God, if he just if he had a cool voice, Jeff Gordon could have fucked the world with his giant NASCAR <laughs> dick. And he I mean, he got pretty far, but. I just feel like he's really he really missed out on on the boys category. But anyway, With this that's... giant NASCAR dick. Does anyone else God. feel that same way? No, nah, he's a good looking dude. I don't know it if was, he's yeah, still it was it was all hair for him though. Like, yeah, he, he did have good hair. hair. He right. had solid he hair, hair. which is a downside like... to driving NASCAR because you always have a huge helmet on. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's very rare that I ever meet somebody that I just like hate. Like it, it's very rare for me. To, like I say, I hate a lot of things. I don't usually hate people. I fucking hate boring people. They're the fucking worst. 
Anybody who's just like, <laughs> like they're just general. talking to him and there's just nothing fucking interesting about this person. And they type like for what it's like a friend of a friend that you have to interact with like more than you'd really like. And just like fucking kill me every single time I deal with this person. That like that is the one thing I like I legitimately hate about some people is how fucking boring and uninteresting. Wow. They are. God but damn, so dude. Angry. Man, I'm really not usually. I gotta say, since Blas stopped eating really good shit, uh, he's really become a lot angrier. I think it's I think it's directly <laughs> due to your diet. Probably the, now that you don't eat garbage anymore, it's like the lack have, of Baja. It's the lack of Baja. <laughs> it's made uh, me hateful. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, I know I, I can I, I'll get behind with what you're saying. I, I well, I, you know, hate, like, I don't necessarily hate the people. I hate those really awkward interactions when you can't really yeah, get anything exactly. out of somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're trying like, to have a conversation with them like desperately. Yeah. And it's just like, a, like, yeah, like it, like having a trying to keep interest in this person is like trying to bucket water out of a sinking ship. That's what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I feel like. And it's the most frustrating fucking experience. Like, this please be, say something interesting. Please is, be interesting. This is your interaction according to Anion. This is this is the other person. Nice weather today. This is black light. Oh my god, go fuck yourself. Piece of shit. Like small talk. You dipshit. You're just you just losing on him. It's what honestly fuck. It's honestly like I don't I, it's it, I think what the most frustrating thing about it is for me is that like if, if it's somebody who's like a dickhead to me, who's just outwardly like, like, you know, just <laughs> fuck you, Nick Jenkins, you're a piece of shit. I can then either return that yeah, return. or just or just pointedly ignore it in order to further bother that person. But when somebody's like just boring, it's not something you can really hold against them. It's not something you can't just be like, fuck you. You're so boring. That's rude. Like and that frustrates me that you can't like combat this in any way. That's the, so worst the worst part thing about anyone it. could do to you is just come up to you and then have a really boring conversation. That would yes, be like, I, okay. Let's like, get it. I hate, I hate boring people because I can't tell them I hate them. You know, like I it mean, makes it so much worse. Yeah. You have a really unique set of problems. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> I don't know how we address. Them. Are we ready, Brandon? Uh, uh, yeah, we're ready. All right. Let me start this shit off here <laughs> piece of crap podcast that we run um <laughs> yeah nicholas all right there's one there's one person in my life who's extremely boring who's a friend of a friend and they like me a lot and <laughs> they constantly like want to talk to me and stuff and i'm just like i don't want to be anywhere near you i fucking hate you <laughs> Oh, it's bad it's such a powerful word though I, it's okay it's not real <laughs> hate. Like, it's it's not actual mm -hmm. hate but All right. it's stream annoyance. Let me start this podcast. Yeah, please. please. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. The podcast this week brought to you by CaveMod.com, of course. Go check out the website. Go check out. Is Are they not hearing me? Okay. They're hearing me, I think. Yeah. I think we um, start that over. Yeah. The podcast is brought to you this week by CaveMod.com. Right, go check out the website and uh, please check out the forums. Uh, lots of good stuff going on there, as well as our startup of the uh, awards picks, which we'll get to a little later. Um, also, multi-stream, of course, capemod.com slash multi-stream. The best way to watch multiple streams on Twitch. Um, somebody, last weekend of the weekend before, somebody big used it, and we got another... We, we get, like, Linode notices when people use multi-stream a lot because <laughs> it bogs the server down. Um <laughs> I think it was like Lyric or somebody, but it was like, your CPU is pegged at 100%. Just telling you. <laughs> um, and pay but, for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so go check out capemod.com slash multi-stream. Best way to watch um, multiple streams here on Twitch. And, of course, that site is brought to you by PC Part Picker. The best way to share build guy or uh, build setups and things for PCs, and also to check out price graphs and um, sales and things like that. So go check out Philip and the boys over at PCPartPicker.com. Also, check out KBMod.com or KBMod.Spreadshirt.com. Uh, we have some new shirts up. The UK store has been updated. I believe Monday is the last day to order if you want to get it by Christmas. Um, so, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And of course, 
Last but not least, brought to you by subscribers and viewers like you guys. So thank oh, you. Definitely very last much. and definitely least. I'll get to that <laughs> later. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> go ahead, APL. <laughs> I will go ahead. Uh, guys, how you doing? Welcome to episode 169. <laughs> Meme 69. <laughs> I turn, knew it. Turn halfway clockwise and start sucking that dick or whatever you're going to do. <laughs> Get in that 69 position. <laughs> may, Get the mayo out or whatever. Uh, yeah, but 169. Can't believe we've done 169 of these episodes. It is December 14th, 2014. And the year's almost over as well. Yeah. So look at that. We're almost almost ready for Christmas or Atheimus, athe, or as I'm Festivus. This year. Festivus, whatever you want to yeah, do. Whatever Festivus you do. for the rest of us. Yeah, yeah whatever. Egg- Winter Enus. <laughs> Winter, yeah. Um, <laughs> Control you know. all delete reference I just made. Somebody <laughs> fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, how's everybody doing? Um, what's going on? No, nothing. 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 Okay. What's going on with you? I'm sick. Uh, no, nothing. How's the I'm weather, sick. Scott? I Guys, I don't really want to start small talk because <laughs> Blah is going to hate all of us. That, so I don't really. Should we just get to like I something didn't interesting? Say I don't like small talk. There are some people that are really good at small talk that can be interesting throughout. <laughs> you know, like if you can like crack jokes and be funny. No, the worst. Okay, you know what the worst is? People who are boring that try to be funny and all they can do is like regurgitate memes. Memes, yeah. dude. Well, the best. memes and like inside jokes and fucking like re- like references <laughs> and shit. Like, uh, well, he's, he's so he's, hateful. Dude. Just, like, he's so grow selective a personality. about pretty much everything. Like, welcome every- to yeah. everybody at KB yeah. Pod. Yeah. Fan base. Jesus. Oh yeah, fuck all those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Especially oh. PM Larocco. You want to go, mate? Wow. <laughs> yeah, pump them out. This is, I like this. I like this fire. I like this. Yeah, I like you having know? the fans on edge. This you know what happens? I get sick and I get angry and I just. Let it out. Let it out. You're in a safe fuck the world. You're in a safe place. You're in a place. safe place. Um, we should uh, before we go into what we've been playing this week. Did anyone do anything uh, exciting in real life they'd like to share? A Any Christmas party last night. I did. I saw the Good. Twitch Christmas party photos. They looked incredible. That I'm actually uh, quite upsetting. It made. I it. was touched by like significant alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like enough that I woke up this morning at like eleven, and I was like, "Yeah, that's not actually going to happen." And then I slept until four. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, so what was that? Now. Was it was an ice? It was an ice sculpture that was dispensing clams or something. What what was it? It was just an there was bar. an ice sculpture, and then it was an oyster bar. So you got to keep the oysters on ice, and so they were yeah, shucking yeah, oysters but... right there and putting them on the. Can you link that picture in chat? If actually I can probably find it because I thought that picture. That's was... on my timeline. I like the uh, I like the fact that you think that the Twitch party had a clam dispenser. A clam dispenser. <laughs> <laughs> it's a clam dispenser. Oysters, clam just, dispenser, they're all the same, right? I just want to go into like a right? food restaurant and start filling my cup up with ice and just clams <laughs> start filling my fucking cup. <laughs> Making like squishy sounds as they land, just like oh, <laughs> oh god. Put your top on there and put a straw and start sucking, dude. Delicious. Oh man. Uh <laughs> I didn't do anything interesting, but my wife was out till six in the morning with Mike Pollack Saturday morning, so now I'm just worried about partying about everything in the world. Yeah, she's um, partying with Mike Pollack. Yeah, till like Fucking six a.m. Nice. <laughs> Fucking Megan the monster. I was like, what is happening? She's crazy. Yeah, look at her. They she went to Eaton Park. <laughs> Eaton Park. I've never been to an Eaton Park. Oh my park. god, what? Scott! What? Next pretty, time you're in town, pretty, pretty, pretty significant. Yeah. Like, Part of American I would say culture. it's like a, it's like a sec, it's like close to Denny's. Fourth, fourth tier. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The one thing, so Eaton Park is built for the salad bar. Like that's why yeah. you go there. You're like, I would like to have a salad bar today. That's where uh, Eaton Park really shines. Okay. So. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've never, I just never have. Can dig it. <laughs> okay. God, don't use that word in chat. I'm not getting cuckolded. Oh, it's the worst <laughs> word. <laughs> that is. Like it is, it's, it's on the crazy. list of gross words. Even if it didn't oh. mean anything gross, that is that like is the most. Word. Like yeah, saying bad. it makes me want to vomit. Like I feel like <laughs> cuckolded is is the male version of moist. Yeah. If you if I mean if cuckolded meant you were making a sandwich, it would still be the grossest word on yeah, the fucking go, planet. Oh, don't say that. Say you're making a fucking sandwich, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> just make the sandwich. Don't talk about that. <laughs> it's so oh, bad. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, that's okay. Well, that is interesting. Yeah. So, well, maybe we'll get Megan on here, you know, one in the future podcast and she can talk her side of that story because right now it just sounds pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, 
<laughs> All right. I mean, other than she's probably gonna come I, downstairs and be yeah, like, "What are you doing?" Well, uh, she's listening probably right now isn't yeah she? so um all right anybody else no uh, no uh, flea markets brandon i'm always waiting for the week that you're gonna tell us that you went to another fucking sick flea market like you you really let me down i love That's the phrase I sick really flea do. market sick, and sick flea market bro and film it so then we can send the footage to strudel and you can make a flea market montage like that would be sick mlg um i mean i don't know if they do them during the winter that's probably it's just, true they it's, it's cold you're right. You're right. It has been, uh, you know, really chilly here as well. You know, it's been like low 60s during the day, which is chilly for, you know, for this area. It's finally so. gotten a little bit colder here. Oh, yeah, you guys had that zany warm. storm. You said storm again, you bunch of pussies. Oh, yeah. my God. It was so tame, too. Like, there were there were places that were bad. There were some outages in the city, and Daly City got flooded really bad. But, like, up where it I was live, not, it was in not East bad. Bay, it was, it was a drizzle. It, yeah, was, it, was, it was just constant oh. rain, but it wasn't, it wasn't, like, anything crazy. Other well, parts of the nation get this all the time. Constant yeah. rain yeah, systems, terrifies and confuses Californians. They don't know how to handle it. The, the drainage yeah. system in my complex was, was, like, not cleaned in a very long time because it hasn't <laughs> rained in, like, five years, so my whole parking lot flooded. Uh, God. We didn't even have anything fine. like that down the street. But like the whole or parts of downtown <laughs> lost That's power. So... And I was like, That's how do you so... how do you lose power over a you know a light a light shower over the day? Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's because they're so like remarkably ill prepared <laughs> for it. Like we handle earthquake just fine. Nothing happens when when the ground shakes. Yeah, and people get swallowed up into the earth. But fucking well, watch out! Some waterfalls from the sky. <laughs> Did that Brandon sub really happen? God damn that it. That sub really happened. Dan, tell the people. Dan's people moist sub. cuckolding. Just subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh. Oh boy. you should just tell people like words. So if you want to like turn KB, KB Mod and like to a profit printing machine, just like tell people words that bother you. Yeah. And we'll make accounts yeah. and per- subscriptions. Yeah, that works. exactly. That's a good point. God. That's a good, let's just do this for the next hour and a half. Let's just do words oh. that bug us out and we'll. I did see this work. interesting thing. Um, not to poop on MLG because they just picked up CSGO, which is awesome. Are you going to talk about the skin giveaway? <laughs> so they were giving away skins today. This is MLG, a massive organization, Find the tweet. right? Find the tweet. They gave away on Twitter today that <laughs> I, I had I have to talk about this because it's like That's it's funny. like clearly someone in the chain didn't didn't really understand CSGO yeah. skins. Yeah, they awesome. were tweeting to give away a Glock 18 groundwater, <laughs> which <laughs> which is like eight cents on the market. It's like not, there's literally yeah. nothing special about it, was a, it at They all. definitely had someone on there that didn't, you know. Yeah. It they, got better, though. I'm, I'm going back. Yeah, the M4A4 sure. Knight was on there, which is badass. But not the Cyrex. Cyrex, best skin this, in the game. I found it. I found it. <laughs> but I had to. But the groundwater, it, looks, it even looks fucking horrible. Yeah, like it just looks like a regular Glock. <laughs> it's just like, oh, that was... Like they did give away some other stuff. Still, it was just still, like, three hundred and thirteen or thirteen retweets on that one. So I don't know if that was like ironic retweets or <laughs> if people were, uh, you know, actually retweeting it, to try to win. But it's just kind of they did put they did give away some good ones like the M four A four night. Yeah, like there was said, also but, a uh, yeah, there was um, a Vulcan <laughs> giveaway too. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I don't like it, the but. Vulcan personally, but. <clears throat> You yeah, know, to each yeah. their own with skins. But I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad to see any any anything that's picking up Counter Strike at this point. I'm I'm excited for. So I'm glad to see. Especially the NA NA organization doing something big with it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd that's be good. cool. That's good. All right. Well, let's get into since all of us are fucking really boring people. Let's get into <laughs> our boring gaming life. Now, now, did I say that I was talking about you guys? Come on. No, you didn't. No, no, no. I was, it's not always directed. about you, Scott. <laughs> that wasn't directed at you. It's not always about you because I wasn't even referring to you. I wasn't oh, even I thought, thinking that. You, no, no. Right, so it's not always about me. I'm the selfish one. <laughs> no, I was just saying that like the highlight of our of our week was uh, like a rainstorm we were talking about. Like that was the biggest thing. Gotcha. Okay. I thought, I thought well, you were it was, it was a big deal my, here. My <laughs> it was a huge deal. We talking about it. I was just sitting. I was sitting here in Pittsburgh where we fed rain for like six straight days and I've just been like, why? I mean, I guess. Guess yeah. they're all gonna die. I don't know. <laughs> it's gonna happen. <laughs> I'll be doing um, a solo podcast next week. <laughs> yeah, we're all gonna be we're all gonna be done, washed away in the tsunami that was the <laughs> rains of four, December 
2014. <laughs> is, is it okay to say the word tsunami? Is it still too soon to say no, the word good. tsunami? No, you're okay. good. You can, yeah, you I can think, make think tsunami that, jokes. I don't think it was big. ever taboo to say I, the word tsunami. No, it was for a while, right after the, the Japan tsunami. And and I will say, oh. though, that the big EDM oh, awesome. banger tsunami was uh, really helped <laughs> make everyone feel better. You know, <laughs> about, about it. When when was it ever when was it ever <laughs> <tabu> <laughs> <to> <laughs> <use> <laughs> the <word> <laughs> 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 Everyone's like, yeah, tsunami is sick, yeah. Like it's like, well, not really. Like it usually fucking destroys like cities and villages. But it's like, <laughs> if it's in an idiot, if it's a drop, man, I fucking love it. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, like, would it be okay if a tsunami hit Los Angeles if, as long as tsunami's <laughs> blaring over the, over like the, instead of an air siren, they're playing where, tsunami? Everyone's like, we're gonna are die. You doing any of this? This is all like just extrapolated from a completely false assumption. I know. The word tsunami was ever taboo. It's not like it's the fucking Holocaust. Nobody, con nobody, nobody Whoa, consciously don't say that word either. A tsunami don't say on, that word. on Japan. Listen, like, I live my life based off of totally invalid assumptions. Don't have you realize that yet, Black? Come on. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my again. God. Uh, anyway, sorry. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right, Blah. Since, uh, how about you go first with what you've been playing this week? Let's let's hear it. Uh, not a whole lot. I restarted my save file after my Nuzlocke on uh, Mega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, which is probably the best Pokemon games to date. Nobody here actually gives a shit. Uh, picking up Final Fantasy VII again to finally finish my Let's Play. Nobody gives a shit. Jeez. <laughs> um, God damn. Uh, too so far. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm uh, I really no, I haven't really been playing all that much. It's been a pretty busy week and just kind of playing what I can where I can, not a whole lot. But Okay. <clears throat> wow. That was I know you were expecting to fill more time. I did. I <laughs> kind of shocked here, but no, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, do you want me to do you want me to fill some time with a rant about people with bad hygiene? Go ahead. Yeah. No, I, I don't actually don't. No. I actually don't. I take a fucking shower. <laughs> <laughs> not that hard where's some deodorant why do you smell like socks <laughs> shots that's what fired, I man. god that's what damn I that's, all, that's all i have go ahead okay um brandon hit me uh goblins versus gnomes you that's bought a lot of packs brandon hmm. i bought a lot of packs you bought a lot of packs that's so sweet it's gold though mostly it's gold no well no it started with gold <laughs> <laughs> and then so I bought I bought like sixty packs with gold because I've just been I've just been saving up a bunch of gold from arena runs and stuff. So I had I had a bunch of gold to spend. So I spent most of my gold on on packs because I figure you know there's nothing there's nothing else I need that gold for, and the next expansion will be a you know ways away. So I spent most of it, and I was like, well, I actually don't have as many packs as I thought or like you know as many of the cards as I thought I wanted. So I bought seventy dollars worth. <laughs> and then I just decided I needed more, so I bought seventy more dollars worth. Wow! So I, uh, can we can we thank the sub real quick? Oh, God, yeah, please. go ahead. I can't do it. I thank can't. you for the subscription, Crusty Moist Cuck Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Crusty Moist together. Those should Crusty not coexist. Crusty and moist do not. There's, some, uh, there's, there's something upsetting about. Ugh. Abbreviating cuckold. And, <laughs> and that's, that's real bad. What was your findings from buying that many packs? Yeah. So the it, thing you the, can very easily spend money on Hearthstone. <laughs> that was well. No, <laughs> yes. But so the crazy thing is when you buy that many packs, and I haven't disenchanted any of my extra cards. So clearly, you would expect that you would have extras of a bunch of the common cards and all of that. But no, I have I have four Doctor Booms, the legendary, four of them. <laughs> I have nine Sucks. Steam Weedle Snipers, which is an epic card. And I I was like literally until some of the last packs I opened, I was missing a couple of rare cards. That's I, super weird. There's a lot of legendaries in that expansion too. There are there, there are a lot there, of legendaries. There's a lot, there's a lot of cards. But it's just that like sucks. I I. I feel it feels so weird because there are some cards where I have I have literally nine or ten of them, and then <laughs> others that I I just don't have any, and the, we're talking rare cards, not even epics or legendaries. So that's actually why I bought so many packs because I I figure if I'm gonna buy packs, I should buy them now before they change any cards because mm -hmm. then when they change cards, you get full value for the dust when you disenchant them. So I figure now I'll just I'll open a bunch of packs and I'll just keep all the the disenchanting 
uh, or I'll wait to disenchant them. Not a bad So idea. that's basically all I've done this week. Um, <laughs> playing, playing, and trying to figure out decks with the, all the new cards. I'm glad um, I didn't get into that because I already have a problem with cases. So if I could open more packs of things to give me that instant kind of, <laughs> is it the same? I've seen people open some packs. So how, like, how much is it per uh, per pack? Uh, it, it scales up the more you buy at once. So the, okay. the most you can buy is 70, $70 for 60 packs. 60 packs. So they get, okay. they get closer and closer to a dollar. Oh, it's not, okay. Oh, it's not um, bad, actually. But, not but bad. the thing is, like, I actually, I mean, the only reason I bought all of those packs is because I do, like, I play Hearthstone mostly in terms of, like, the game that I spend the most time on right now is mm-hmm. Hearthstone. So I don't, like, I look at it as a, a good investment because I've, I'm gonna play Hearthstone for you know the foreseeable be- the foreseeable future, and I'm just not I'm not buying a ton of other games right now. So that's really not like 140 bucks is what three AAA games. Yeah. So yeah, I like that. Yeah. Um, uh, can I just say Aurelian Aaron is like the best pack opener ever. That is true. Yes. She yeah, opened she- like mm. well like somewhere around 140 packs for Tyler, and mm. unpacked like an un godly amount of legendaries and several gold legendaries yeah, I think. he got like two two gold, two gold legendaries yeah Good it was God. like <clears throat> out of out of i think it was like a 40 pack that she first opened and and got like five legendaries one of which was gold something Jeez, like that i've gotten it one gold legendary yeah, what was that she doesn't even know how to play the game. So. Oh yeah, no, she <laughs> yeah. just but she's really good at opening packs and she knows it. <laughs> That's all that really matters. <laughs> So how yeah. rare of a, how rare is that like compared to CS skins? Like is that like a so a that's a knife, dude. I'm, I'm a gold legendary is a knife. Is a knife. Gold legendary. Right. Is as far as knife. rarity. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm I'm told that a legendary is like a one in a hundred chance or something like that, and I, then I think a gold is like what one in a, th- a gold legendary is like one in a thousand. Something that would be like about that. right, I think. Something like that. Yeah. I don't I don't know exactly. That's probably. The gold legendary is probably wrong, but I'm pretty sure legendary is, is known to be one in a thousand one in a thousand packs, not one in a thousand cards, because you get five cards a pack. But I think it might it might be card because you get you roughly get a legendary per twenty packs. It's like a five really? percent. Yeah, it's like a five percent chance. So I think that, gold that legendary is like a one percent chance. That hasn't been my experience, but I also have generally oh, kind of that's, shit luck. That's how percentages I've, work. I've I never got... actually opened. <laughs> So I've never actually opened anything higher than I think a purple skin in CS:GO, and I've opened a lot of cases. For a long time, my only legendary in Hearthstone was a gold Scenarius. That was it. <laughs> it's the only I have one a gold Illidan. You know, pack or something. <clears throat> uh, I got it in one of my first packs. It was like when the game first came out. I what got a gold do? Illidan, which is like a <sighs> shit legendary. <clears throat> He's powerful if you already have board position, or, yeah. or if you already have board control. That's <clears throat> it. Yeah. Also, I'm uh, so another reason that I opened a bunch of packs is because I'm I'm gonna try and hit legend this season, uh, which I'm I, I'm very well might not do because it takes a long time. But I figure over Christmas break I actually have the time to play, and so I wanted to, I wanted to try and make like good decks so that I could actually hit legend. Uh, so right now I'm like rank ten, and hopefully I can hopefully I can get close. We'll see. But that's really all I've been playing this week. Okay. All right. Sweet. Sorry, I'm just getting distracted. Katie Zen posted this uh, Polygon article that I haven't seen yet about religion and... Uh... Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting triggered. Uh, maybe we'll talk about this later. Stop <laughs> triggering, Scott. I'm, I'm Polygon triggering. and religion, that seems extremely valuable. You please yeah, share. Yeah, it does. We should definitely oh, yeah. talk about it. Go ahead, John. Uh, mostly just Warlords of Draenor. Uh, a little bit of CSGO here and there, but... I'll probably be all up in that Warlords of Draenor for probably forever. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, there's eventually going to be another expansion. Yeah. Someday. I still play Warlords of Draenor. <clears throat> okay. So you're not going to install. Or you're not going to install <laughs> the next. He's not going to install it. <laughs> no, probably, no, he's over it. Really. <laughs> also, how how much actual con- like content for War? Like, I mean, obviously, you could play Warlords forever. But, I mean, you can keep raiding and stuff, but uh, for like the questing and stuff like that, how long does that take for? Took about twenty four hours. Yeah, okay. something like that. To get so, from ninety to hundred, it's not bad. Huh. Which for John was about one play session. <laughs> yeah, that, is, was, that actually was the one. Yeah. Is my mic good? Oh yeah, I wasn't for you guys. Your mic sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nikon messaged me and said it was crackling. I hope it's it sounds not now. divine. Um, I don't know about I don't know about the stream. All right. <clears throat> sure. 
Yeah, it should be fine if it's fine to you guys. But, um, right. who's up? Um, next? all right. Uh, you're up, Dan. Uh, I have mostly played WoW this week. Mm-hmm. Um, like a shitload of it because I, <clears throat> I went to occupational therapy finally, and they were basically like, "If you want to get the typing back, just start typing a lot." Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I was like, "I'll just play WoW then." Um, Makes and sense. I did go to work this week too. So I was back at work. Um, How is that going with what? Like, are you able to you just got to go slower or what? Or like, you uh, yeah, I just can't like take, you know, call after call or anything. I'm just not that right. fast. Um, yeah. But I got to level 100 finally. And then the past two days, I think I've probably played 18 hours. Of wow. Over the past two days, just trying to get geared up to uh, to raid. Um, because. <laughs> I really, really want to raid after coming in after the raid Thursday and talking with John and uh, our friend Tinquar, who is in guilds with us forever, who John got to come back. So, um, but uh, yeah, so I've just been playing that and uh, I did play a little bit of Dark Souls 1 back in the habit. I didn't stream it though. Um, Mm -hmm. And I'm almost done with the crew, almost at the end of that game. Um, which it's pretty good. It's still pretty good. Like, <laughs> again, it's hard to recommend the crew, really, <laughs> but it's pretty good too. Like, I feel like I this is the hardest hard. task you've had this entire year is deciding whether or not you can rec- every, like last week you said the same thing. You were like, I yeah, I can't figure out. I, don't the, know. I can't put like, my can finger I? on the crew. It's like, yeah, it's like an eight out of 10 with an asterisk by it. That's like, it's also kind of shitty. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a super weird game. Yeah. Keep in mind, um, anybody who worked on the crew, whether or not to recommend your game is the hardest decision a guy has had to make all year. <laughs> the guy also had a stroke this year. <laughs> yeah, so, that's how confusing that is, your game is. That's, that's, that's really where your game's at right now. Take it as you will. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I I really enjoy the game. Um, I what I really want to do is is get online with Hex one of these nights. So. The faction missions they have, we I talked about one last week, um, <clears throat> which was like Hex and I were driving for like an hour and 15 minutes on one mission. Mm-hmm. And uh, these are meant to be, I didn't equate this until I read an article, or, uh, I think it was Eurogamer's Review, which actually gave the crew 9 out of 10. Um, but uh, the faction missions are supposed to be like the raids of that game. So like World of Warcraft has big raids which take hours to complete. That's what the faction missions are supposed to be. Um, <clears throat> they're supposed to be like this long undertaking to complete. Um, there was one. There's one that's four hours long. <laughs> A race in that game, four hours. That wow. sounds awful. That's crazy. That sounds, like that sounds awesome. I don't know that's why. Too, but it that's does. too much committing to me. <clears throat> I don't even um, play WoW for four hours straight. Yeah. I know. But yeah, so the crew, it's weird. <laughs> that's, like, that's like the best. I, it's hard to. <laughs> I haven't decided if I'm going to buy it yet. I'm waiting. Oh, I bought Far Cry and Dragon Age. Uh, the crew, is the great. story is like 15 plus hours. So, I mean, mm. you get your time out of it, even if you just beat the game. <clears throat> but that's I heard about nothing it but incredible feedback about um, Inquisition. It yeah. seems really good. I played a couple hours. Yeah, I, I really need to get on board with that. I did forget to mention that uh, the Phoenix Wright trilogy came out. I've been streaming that, and that's uh, super hype. <clears throat> Objection. Objection! I actually have a, a, an object emote that just skirts around copyright. Uh, <laughs> solely for that. It's fun, because my, my whole chat, every time... Uh, so, those of you who don't know, Phoenix Wright is like a um, is, is, is a game about like, law. It's an attorney court. simulator. Yeah, it's no, it's literally like you're literally a defense attorney defending people from wrongfully accused murder cases, uh, murder charges. And whenever you find evidence that like that contradicts what what like witnesses are testifying, uh, you present it to them and your character, Phoenix Wright, yells objection really loud. And, and like the music stops and then it picks back up as he points out the contradiction and it just gets hype as fuck. So what I've had my chat do is everybody yells objection with me at the same time so like my whole chat just lights up with objection and then whatever emote they choose and it's really fun it's the nerdiest <laughs> shit and i fucking love it <laughs> yeah huddleston's got it cyberboy's got it yeah <laughs> it's such a fun game to stream <clears throat> i just i need to get I better to a little streaming. bit 
I need to get better better before I keep streaming it because I do like all the voice acting because I'm a giant fucking LARPing nerd. Damn, and, uh, you are. A <laughs> yeah. And uh, my, I'm just, I'm not up to it right now. But I, for, I forgot to mention that. I saw after after I went, somebody was like, are you not going to mention Phoenix Wright? So I had to go back and mention it. I'm sorry. Who's left here? Scott Fisher. Two Scott, are cool. you muted again? He didn't want us to hear him fapping off to, to my Phoenix Wright story. I feel like he's muted again. He did he's this. He's either muted or Time Warner did. He did this last night or last time. He was muted and didn't know it. This is what happens when you pay a trip to the fucking zoo room when I'm talking. Oh, Scott. No, we dropped him. He's, he's, he's time warnered. He's always time warnered. Well, uh, I played uh, a lot of Counter Strike Go this week, and I streamed some other games that I that nobody knows. <laughs> and I'm Scott Fisher. <laughs> Yeah, he did play a lot of CSGO this week. And then he played... What did he play? He played something else. I'm trying to remember. Some FPS game. I forget what it was called. I think yeah. it started with a P. Might have been CSGO. <laughs> yeah, it was CSGO. It was the CSGO. Game. started with a silent P. Fuck, um, what, what was that one? I'm thinking of like a really obscure console shooter that came out that sucked. And P, it was really... There's a lot like, of oh. those. But it began with a P. It was like Pariah or something like that? Or... I don't know. I don't know. I lost Rage. It. The silent. I <laughs> uh, was, it, was it Postal? No, oh, postal. It postal no he did play Postal too, though. Oh, was that it? was the okay. one that was Postal. Yeah, he did play Postal too. I think he was in the weekend DLC. So let me call him back here. Um, he didn't text me. So. Maybe he got fenned. <laughs> Maybe Nick Zoot took him. But that's Nick what he just did. Bursts into his room. He comes out of the zoo closet, bursts into his room with like a vape pen in one hand and a bong in the other, and just tackles him and forces him <laughs> to get zooted. It's like a regular occurrence. All right, we're gonna run a quick two minute commercial break and hope Scott is alive at the end of the two minutes. Um, if you don't want to see any ads on this channel, make sure you subscribe because that will remove all ads on this channel for you, and you can support the stream. So we'll be back in a couple minutes. Totally forgot to talk about Capcom Cup. I was gonna, which was stellar. Mm. Yes, I can talk about it in news. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Well, parts of it were stellar. <laughs> Some parts of it were the worst. Fucking <laughs> garbage. Capcom, please. <clears throat> Capcom. Capcom. Dude, I, I so I do not know how to feel about Capcom. No one does. They won't make another Mega Man game. Oh, I do have a message now. <clears throat> Internet dead. Rebooting stuff, but we'll see. Rip okay. a dip. Um, that means he'll probably reboot the router. Be bad. Because he was actually not distorting or anything. It was just out of nowhere. So. Yeah. It completely dropped. It wasn't like a... Scott? Oh. Hello? Yeah, you're good. Whoa. Am I alive? Okay. Yeah. I don't know what... I think happened. it just totally dropped completely. It wasn't like a degradation thing. <clears throat> Wait, did it die on your guys' end or just my end? You just went silent. You, you, you disconnected. Yeah, I couldn't. Yeah, I couldn't hear. I, well, no, you guys all started started sounding like robots, really slow robots when Blah was talking, and then everything <laughs> just died. I don't know. I think that knows? might actually just be you were so bored. From that could be. That, that could was be actually what happened. in your yeah. ear. That that was like in your head, not coming out of your computer. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a t t Time Warner uh, mm. special feature right there that I just had. Um, <clears throat> Okay, all right, Special so it's my turn feature. to go. Well, we're on commercial right now. But oh, we're on commercial. We went for you. We told okay, them Okay, what did you say? You played uh, CSGO and yes. Postal 2. Yes, there you go. That's it. You and then wow. you also Nailed played it. Rage with a silent P at the beginning because John said you played some game with a P and we couldn't remember that it was Postal. So uh, I just started yeah. making up games and putting silent Ps on them. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, I want to shout out Mike or Mike and Paul um, and Paul Lackey, who sh who uh, told me that Bundle Star had uh, all the uh, Batman games for ten bucks. So yeah, it's a good fucking if you, you deal. Don't, if you don't use Bundle That's Star, I still don't know how that website works. I thought for the longest time that thing was a scam, but uh, <laughs> it is it's legit. Yeah, they actually give you the keys and you can redeem them. So yep. Um, I don't know if that's still going on, but that's a really good deal for for all of them. Yo, shout outs to six hundred viewers. Thank you so much for showing up, guys. Um. <clears throat> All right, Scott, are you still there? You're scaring yes, me whenever you go yeah. silent. 
<clears throat> we're going to start the news with something I regretted to mention in the uh, what we did. I watched Capcom Cup all day Saturday, um, which is the sort of culmination of the year of uh, fighting games, um, top 16 players in the world, and it really, I mean, obviously people can debate on who the top 16 might be, but this is a pretty damn solid representation of who the best players in the world are. Um, Justin Wong, Ricky Ortiz, PR Rog, Daigo, uh, Momochi, Fudo, um, <coughs> Luffy, who won Evo this year. It was the last four or five Evo champs were in this field, so um, it was 16 killers, pretty much. Uh, it was awesome. The Street Fighter was awesome. <laughs> uh, Capcom's production of the <laughs> event... It was interesting. It was a little to be desired. Um, way too many breaks um, in it for no reason. Um, like 20 minute breaks, uh, which is re like really odd in a fighting game. If you watch fighting game tournaments, if there's breaks, it's maybe five minutes to like uh, corral Change some players. And stuff yeah. Too. Like. Yeah. This was like we did top, you know, the first eight matches, then took a 20 minute break with like some not very good bands <laughs> and music in between. Um, and then like they did the eight, uh, losers matches and then it was another 20 minutes. So they would lose yeah. like 10K viewers that during sucks, these yeah. breaks. So, I mean, it was really killing the momentum and, and the hype. Um, but uh, some of the matches were, I mean, Absolutely god, like Momochi ended up coming back from loser's bracket to win the whole thing. Um PR Rog beat two or three Evo of the past Evo champions in a row <laughs> from loser's bracket. He had, like and he had no business coming back in the matches too. Um it, it was uh it was pretty ridiculous. Um but like people it was funny seeing people get eliminated. Like Justin Wong went own two. He just got destroyed. Yeah. Um, but the uh, the uh, Street Fighter was unbelievable. I mean that those sixteen players in one bracket is pretty ridiculous. Um, maybe the highest quality bracket in that esport ever, I would say. Um, That's those, the best part about like the Pro Tour kind yeah. of way of doing things too. Yeah. So what they do for those that don't know, each event if you win a what they consider to be a major. During the year, you automatically get in, and then you can qualify by points. So if you finish high consistently, you'll end up making it. So, um, uh, yeah, that's right. Snake Eyes also got went zero uh, and two, which was really <laughs> surprising. Supposed to be the best American player, um, but got just destroyed. So, yeah, it was it was pretty amazing. <laughs> I was hyped. so I only watched I only watched like the towards the end the last like three or four hours uh, which mm -hmm. was super I don't even you know know much about what's going on technically but I like watching there's a lot of comebacks a lot, a lot yeah. of tight matches um, yeah it was really fun to watch but uh, the <laughs> ending with uh, I don't know was it the, <laughs> the guy uh, who was talking about you know the price the the price pool being increased right for next yeah, year yeah so That's next year so this year the winner got thirty k. Second place got 15k and third place got 5k. I mean, not shabby, especially when you're an individual, um, not showing it with a team. Next year, due to the what I can only assume is the Sony money going into Street Fighter Five, five hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, in the pool yeah, next year, cool. which is like the FGC's entire prize pool. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ever. That's crazy. Like, that'd be like winning every tournament throughout the year, and you would have to go to like a hundred tournaments. <laughs> Not just the majors. Like, it's completely amazing that they're they're doing this. Um, it's something the FGC needed badly. When you're seeing things like, it's hard to do what Valve does, but like that'd be an awesome model. You can't really do it with a fighting game, but like that's why there's so much money in in that stuff. And of course, Riot is just raking in money hand over yep. fist for League. So, um, but there were a lot of players who's le who have left. Uh, the FGC in the past few years, either to try league or just because, you know, not worth their time, basically even the sponsors. So I'm glad to see a huge infusion. Um, imagine, <laughs> imagine finishing first next year. You're probably making like, I don't know how that prize pool is going to be split up. But you're going to be making close to six figure paycheck. If you win that tournament next year, like that's one dude is going to make Which is about 
and cut <laughs> that in half after taxes, assuming they do yeah. things right. And that's still re- still a lot of money. It's enough to yeah. live for a year, like yep. pretty comfortably. Yeah. So, um, should be yeah, amazing next going. year. Street like like he kept he kept saying like one more thing, one more thing, yeah. and they did the uh, the exhibition match or whatever. Yeah, Street Fighter Five. They did for five. Year. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was the noodle head. The noodles on the head, <laughs> which won't <laughs> be end. out for another fucking four years. But that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Everyone in chat just like seeing it, seeing it early, and they're like, "Oh, it looks shit." It looks <laughs> of course, of Everyone, course. Just all of Twitch chat. <laughs> Oh my god, what are these graphics? They spent all their money on shadows. <laughs> like that was like <laughs> that was a lot of it. Yeah. So uh cool. up next in the news, so Capcom Cup was awesome. Um our first game of the year staff pick article is up. Uh a few of us are gonna be doing these articles on the site on kmod.com. Uh AJ was up first, and he actually chose one that I I think some of the rest of us have played, but I don't know if anyone would choose. Uh he chose Alien Isolation. I was surprised at that pick. His game of the year. Um, With an honorable mention, you can read his reasoning behind it um, in there. Honorable mentions to three really good games as well. Wolfenstein, The New Order, um, Dark Souls 2, and The Walking Dead Season 2. The Walking Dead Season 2 is not very good at saying. Um, Yeah. (laughs) It's just not. Uh, But those other three games are quite good. So go check out that article on the site. I feel like um, I really need to play Aliens. By the way, I just got to throw that out there. I haven't, I haven't bought it. Yeah, I mean, everybody, everybody says it was good. Yeah, and it's a twenty-hour-plus yeah. campaign. It's a lot of content, man. Yeah, for a single for a single-player single game. game. Yeah. Um, so go check that out on the site. Uh, I don't know if you guys on this cast with me have seen these Just Cause three screenshots I'm about but, to talk about, but I have not. dear God, I'll link them in chat. Um. <clears throat> so you know we keep saying every time we talk Ooh. about just cause 2 how good just cause 2 looks five years on like it still looks incredible this yeah <laughs> the thing is that these aren't like these these are They're not real media screenshots these are not real screenshots right so, but like you saw dark souls 2 screenshots and you're like that yeah gonna be pretty and then you yeah got but avalanche knows like, yeah. what they're doing like with this, with just cause. This is, this is the one let's go game. Look, let's go look where... for the for the just cause two screenshots for the press and see if they're comparable to the actual game. And if they are, <laughs> then I'll buy it. This is the one game where that game does look amazing. So I, I have no qualms with thinking these will, these could be close to real. Yeah. Because like just cause two, just cause two stands up to games being made today. Yeah. We've. we've I think it's better. Said that on cast before. <laughs> Like, I mean, here's like the, the technology, the water better. looks and everything. It's, this I, looks, I can't wait. This looks like a next gen Just Cause 2, which, I mean, that's exactly what you want. <laughs> the graphics are taken to another level. Also, this screenshot with him grappling to a goddamn oxygen tank that he has shot the bottom out of and is rocketing him across the sky. I'm in. Count me in for this game already. Um. <laughs> Just of course, the insanity is there. The water looks unbelievable. Um, the fish swim away from you. Been one of the most amazing <laughs> things about that keep is the that, water. Keep that so view distance too. The view distance yeah. is the best thing to me. I think yeah. the view distance, the water, just the environment in general. Like it, it just looks so good. And I, I do like one of these screenshots. Is he's uh, grappled on top of a <laughs> sports car that's you know hundreds <laughs> of feet in the air. Yeah. So off a cliff. It looks like yeah. it looks like there will be no shortage of lunacy like we experienced in Just Cause 2. <laughs> yeah. So I just keep getting more hype from this. Uh, as we talked about a couple weeks ago, um, there won't be any multiplayer at launch, but there's also going to be no microtransactions in the game. Um, so that's a good thing because a lot of people thought there would uh, for cars and different things like that. So um, coming out in 2015 at some point, um, so hopefully it's awesome. Hopefully their Mad Max game, Avalanche, is also awesome. Uh, it looks really good. Um, also, in bad news, but sort of good news, The Witcher 3 was delayed three months um, to May. Oh, it's a good thing. Um, and basically they said that they could have just shoved it out <laughs> in February. But there's a lot of little things that they really want to fix. So... Good on CD Projekt Red for delaying it yet again just to put out a fully finished game. And in their statement, um, they basically said that the audience right now is so gun-shy 
due to the recent launches of games like Watch Dogs, um, yeah. Assassin's Creed Unity, Master Chief Collection, Master Chief Collection, all these next gen platform games coming out and being super unfinished and unpolished. Um, they want to make sure that their game uh, will run effectively with the least amount of bugs possible on day one. So, props to them, you know. And this they're, is the way that's best for consumers. <laughs> yeah, and they're a public company as well, which is something we've cited before as to why people shove these out to please stockholders, but yeah. um, they just don't care. <laughs> they're going to give you a finished game when it's done. Um, God. I, I can't wait for The Witcher 3. So, props to CG Project Red, but sucks that we're going to have to wait another couple months for that game. Um, there was a bunch of No Man's Sky footage that we didn't talk about last week from the PlayStation event. Um, it looks incredible. <laughs> Once again, no one has any idea what is actually you're supposed to be doing still, but um, <laughs> it looks absolutely incredible. Um, you can apparently make portals between planets you visited as well. Uh, but we have, you know, we've been talking about this game since uh, the Sony event last year to fully launch PS4. And, um, <laughs> I mean, we'll see. Of course, the most ambitious game we've ever seen, probably. Uh, infinite Universe, procedurally generated MMO. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the No Man's Sky it's, stuff. I was just watching it again. I just, I, what are you doing? What are, I, I mean, I, it does look. I mean, it looks as far as. How long is it awesome? Though? How long is it? Yeah, awesome? like I mean, That's I could I can fly around for like four or five hours to all these infinite planets, and they all, you know, it has a cool art style. But what at the end? Yeah, until I see what we're actually doing with that, I'm I don't know. I, it's, I a like cool, a, it's a cool. It's a cool engine. It's I'm a, a little engine. put off that we still don't know what our goal is. I want yeah, to believe. Like, what is I want it? to like, believe uh, so bad. I don't even I'm know still, if it's a I'm Minecraft still... thing, you know? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't know. It, could, it could very much be just like a sandbox, do whatever you want, which would also be very cool as long as there's like enough to do to keep you occupied. Um, I'm still regarding this game with cautious optimism. It's my yeah. default for any game that looks like that. Cautious optimism. Mm. So, yeah. Um, Damn. Damn. Also, breaking news, Eco just left Cloud9. So there you go. Yeah. Really? He stepped down. Yeah. Well, he's technically still on the roster, but he's, yeah, yeah it's for Shazam. For Crazy. Shazam. And uh, uh, I Buy Power picked up a Dren. Very cool. Uh, so. We knew NA, we talked about this with Jimmy. Uh, we knew changes were coming to all the NA CSGO teams. So yep. there you go. There's some of them right there. Um, a few quick notes this week. Uh, do you have way too much music or something? I don't even know. Um, it's official that you need Seagate's new eight terabyte hard drive. Um, Jesus. $260 for this thing. It is slow. It is meant to be a storage drive. Of course, with eight terabytes. Um, I think it's 52. What's the RPM on it? 5,900. 5,900. Um, so not 7200 RPM, but it's definitely a slow drive. Yeah, it's a really slow Smart drive, like but shitty laptop drive. eight terabyte hard drive for 260 bucks is actually a really good deal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is that is really good, uh, like storage per per cents per gigabyte. Yeah, so if you're someone who stores a lot of media, you may you may want to look into this because you're not going to get eight terabytes for 260 bucks. Um, not that's reliable for the most part. Um, H1Z1 hits early access on January 15th. Shout out to Jimmy Wiz. Um, they said it will be not that finished when it comes out, but they're going to be completely honest with it and, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but of course, early access, fire beware. <laughs> um, and then the last note, which I put on here because I am super hype. No one else cares, but I'm super hyped. Heroes of Might and Magic 3 is getting an HD slash Steamworks version on January 29th. One of my favorite games of all time. Um, and you'll be able to play online multiplayer in it. It's a turn-based sort of strategy game that came out in like 98, I think. Um, but it's fucking amazing, and I'm super glad that Ubisoft is putting this out. So 
uh, unfortunately, it's two days after GTA V <laughs> comes out, so I won't be playing it for a while. But, yeah, I'm super pumped for that. And just a quick uh, correction. I'm going to, for, to pre-vote for GTA Online, PC being the worst launch of the year. He's just going <laughs> to pre-vote for that. Pre-vote. I think so. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Uh, Adren joined uh, Denial, not by Power. Sorry, I misspoke. I yeah. was confusing about Power. Because so. Shazam, Shazam yes, was Denial that? for Cloud9. Right, exactly. Uh, and there are no new releases of Note this week. Makes sense, no. actually. It's, it's uh, yeah. end of the year. So. Pretty shitty. Um, we're going to take another two-minute commercial break here, guys, and then be back with some pretty solid viewer questions this week. <laughs> so make sure you stick around. We'll be back in two minutes. My God, because I need water, dude. This fucking, the cheese sauce I put on my nachos is ghost pepper. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> God I'm not damn. fucking kidding you either. It's actually ghost pepper. Fuck me. I'll be right back. Does that even taste good? I feel like it wouldn't even taste good. Look at the pajama pants on this cast tonight. So strong. God damn. Both of them. God damn. <laughs> I kind of want to buy that 8 terabyte drive. I'll be honest with you. Just do it. Do it right now. The thing is, if you don't need 8 terabytes, like you can, Brandy, for, the, for the same price, you can get faster drives is it for about a little need, bit less space. <laughs> is it about need? I'll need it yeah. someday. <laughs> someday, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like eight terabytes is pushing the the, the threshold of what you, of what you would need, and, unless yeah. you're like unless you're doing YouTube videos or something. As a the way, the way current yeah. games are going, like uh, Call of Duty requiring sixty gigs of your hard drive or something. I mean, well, who right, knows? That's Pretty the thing is, you, you don't terabyte. want like you don't want those on a slow hard drive. Yeah, so that's true. You literally, that's true. you would only want media. Like that, you don't the know the pain. Matter. You don't know the pain of loading BF4 on a mechanical drive. Yeah. Yeah. I actually worst. played a little bit of BF4 this week, actually, just to try it. I still haven't played still. Final Stand. I mean, it's still like it's still Battlefield 4. It's way better than it was when it launched, but yeah, pretty good. Oh, hello, Ifu. What are you doing? You're listening, to the po- you're listening to the podcast on your headphones, ten feet behind me. That's next level right there. That is some, like, next level shit right there. That's dedication. <laughs> Walking around the house with the podcast. <laughs> Hassan, just get eight one terabyte SSDs. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way. That's what John will do. That'll be his solution. <clears throat> do what? Buy it. Buy what? That's always <laughs> eight one terabyte SSDs. I um, have four. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. You can definitely... You can find a way to fill up eight terabytes, but you have to really try. Yeah, you would. Definitely would. <laughs> um, all right. First question here from Mr. Tyler M. He writes in, and this is a good one. We've never actually had this question before. Um, after watching the excellent PewDiePie South Park Christmas special, I didn't see it yet, to be honest. In your opinions, it. what is the best Christmas movie slash special? I'll have to repeat this in just a second, so don't answer. Blah is back. <clears throat> yeah. Let's watch it. Those, no, now he's leaving again. He left oh. again. Those are he some found some people s- making small talk, and he's, just, yeah. <laughs> he's about to beat the shit out of them. Did you beat those people that were making small talk out of your apartment? <laughs> uh, yeah, they were oh, okay. in my kitchen. <laughs> I thought so. I could tell. Get them and, out. Uh, yeah. So, Suck blah, we're on our first viewer question here. Okay. And it is from Tyler M. And he, he asks, after watching the excellent PewDiePie South Park Christmas special, in your opinions, what is the best Christmas movie slash special? That is our question. All right. Um, I really I, like Nightmare Before Christmas because it doubles as both a Halloween and a Christmas movie. Mm, you can watch one. it. It's also just a fun movie. I love. Uh, Music's really good. I love a Christmas story. I love when TBS, TBS does twenty four hours of a Christmas story. Um, oh, yeah, dude. I love that. I love that movie, and it still makes it all the same parts still make me laugh. It's one of my favorites. Um, so I'm good with that. I I find Christmas story depressing, but I think it's like I think it's a uh, it's more of an association thing than there being actually something wrong with the movie because my grandma always used to make me watch it, and I hated visiting my my one grandma. 
Mm. There's some Dude, there's God. some depressing there's some real parts in, in that too. That's yeah, there are yeah, there are some definitely depressing movies, but like I can't enjoy that movie solely because it's just like I think of being stuck in my grandma's house and she like hated which like I all I want to do is like play my Game Boy and she hated watching me like sit there and play games so she would like make me watch <laughs> the TV answer instead. I don't. The answer is absolutely Home Alone. Like there isn't any arguing. Home Alone is fantastic. Man, Home Alone is but great. let me bring up, counts. Let me bring. Yeah. To Home Alone is fantastic. Although I will say Home Alone has evolved for me over the years to yeah. now where I see those dudes get hurt and I'm like, fuck, dude. Yeah, those guys brutal. are. There was a, an article. I don't know if it was on Cracked or another site, but there was an article. I think it was Cracked where they analyzed with a doctor yeah. what would yeah. actually have Injuries. happened to those dudes. Um, had they gotten hit like in the face with a swinging paint can, full paint can, and shit like that, and he was basically like, it was like ninety percent of the shit they would have died. Like he was basically, they'd be dead. They'd be just yep. fucking like that paint can to the face. It would just crushed his entire cranium in. Like he was just been fucking <laughs> destroyed. He said the uh, the uh, the hot doorknob would have burned yeah, through to the that. bone, oh, like down to the bone. It would have burned him. So he was like. Yeah, it's not like, nearly as entertaining when you think of the no. gruesome reality. <laughs> yeah, the, of what the would grim reality. And Kevin's a fucking psychopath. <laughs> you think it's, about like, that it's fucked up that a kid is able to think of all these like saw-like traps. Yeah, it's the start on, of, on the, the spur of the too. moment. Spur of the moment. Like he didn't have any warning these guys were coming. He was just like, "Oh shit, they're here! I got to think of something quick." And then all of a sudden, he comes up with shit that like Jigsaw would come up with mm-hmm. yeah. after years of meticulous planning. Yeah, there, there's no way a young child comes up with like all of those. <laughs> traps no it's just not possible kevin's fucked up man kevin's fucked up yeah well, he's I, also fucked up in real life right now right now <laughs> that movie fucked him actually forever. crazy um i gotta bring up two movies die hard fantastic christmas movie not really one you watch with the kids you know but <laughs> die hard yeah. is awesome you can if you don't care about your kids <laughs> <laughs> um also the old ass rudolph the red-nosed reindeer Mm. animation claymation thing or whatever um stop animation that, i guess that one always it. freaked me out a little bit as a kid too there's something creepy about that I, I, I liked it i liked it but oh it man good. i'm but, down with the bumble the bumble yeah. is sweet yeah um fucking burl ives drunk as shit recording that so i think he sounds like he's so hammered now listen to that but yeah die hard's fantastic um the other die hard's not so much the die hard one yeah, no nominations for It's a Wonderful Life. Got to shout out. My dad just fucking loves that movie and makes us watch it like 20 times. God, what a boring-ass fucking movie, dude. Yeah. Mm, it's, it's, it's a classic. I can't, I can't call it boring. Fantastic watched, performance by Jimmy Stewart. It's I watched sick. it for the first time last year, and I was drunk as shit on like six <laughs> glasses of wine at my parents' house, and it was actually – I enjoyed it a lot drunk. Yeah, <laughs> I enjoyed it a lot. Drunk. I don't think you have to get drunk to enjoy it, but I mean, it is it is for you know, it's a little more of a it's the, the only frame of reference I have. <laughs> My Grinch only experience. Stalker. Grinch stalker. Jingle all the way with Sinbad Ooh. and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Oh, yeah. all the way. Oh, great call. Great, oh, God. great pretty call. Good one. Now I have to bring it up because we brought up Sinbad. I once talked to Sinbad in a Yahoo chat in 1996. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Sinbad. What? Wait, ninety six, man. Mm-hmm. Wow, this was, they were on the they were on the cutting edge. Yeah, they had a chat AOL with Sinbad. Chat, yeah, AOL chat. Room. Dude, it was so old school. Like there was no moderator. It wasn't like there was no oh. barrier. It was just Sinbad. Like they were like just Sinbad's gonna be in the like you know AOL hosted room <laughs> or whatever it was. That's awesome. So I talked to Sinbad in the chat room. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. And then I saw that Always Sunny episode with Sinbad years later, and I was like. Damn, what happened to you? That was a magical fucking episode. It was a magical fucking episode. Um, Grab a shoe. Beat his testicles. (laughs) My my answer to this is is going to be probably pretty obscure because I don't know if this is like a – I don't know if this was a popular thing when I was a kid Mm -hmm. or if I just just happened to watch it and really liked it. But it's it's called Opus and Bill, A Wish for Wings That Work. What? (laughs) I know you've never heard of it. What? But I, I actually just no found, it on, I found it on Amazon. Oh my god, so there had, it is. We had a we had a VHS tape of like we had recorded. Oh, I know it. what this is though. Yeah, I've never seen this. We had recorded it on the TV, and I never like I didn't. I've never Fucking seen it. Other than recording. <laughs> it was uh, 
Anyway, it was like that's one of my favorites. Uh, one of my you better favorite be one click ordering this right now. By the way, yeah, I had no idea they had it on DVD. Five bones, free <laughs> shipping. Um, <laughs> that title is so funny to say. A wish oh, for wings that work. A bill, wish for wings that work. Oh, didn't um, Wallace and Gromit have a Christmas? Pro- dude, thing? this is the thing about Christmas specials. Fucking everyone has a Christmas special. Yeah. Yeah. The so. Star Wars Christmas special, one of the greatest things that ever exists. If you've never seen that, oh, it's dude, like, well, you made me think Muppet Christmas, man. All right, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna, oh, yeah, but, uh, I'm gonna ask Lost a question Lost though. Like a big series, it only had like five entries or something. This isn't part of the viewer question, but the best holiday themed movie. Now I need to know what everybody's is. I'm gonna, go, like... I'm gonna say Hocus Pocus for me. Fucking great, dude. Hocus Pocus. Oh, we watched that at Max and Renee's Halloween. Uh, uh, I forgot how fucking amazing that movie is. It is so <sighs> bad, amazing. It's the best. It's terrible. Oh, it's man. An awful movie. Um, it's, it's fucking incredible. Um, Never saying ill word. I'm going to go. I mean, Halloween has so much around it just because so many. I love fucking Halloween. The first one. The first Halloween movie is really you, you good. Go, you're going all horror on us. Yeah. Right. What what holiday does that correspond to? <laughs> Halloween. Easter. <laughs> it's Easter. It's an Easter movie. Yeah, um, yeah. Should be. It's well, you know what it could be. It could be a Lifetime Easter movie. It's just <laughs> every Lifetime movie is just somebody getting murdered or <laughs> something terrible happening. <clears throat> um, Prometheus and Bob Christmas. <laughs> People are just. That was a thing. God damn! I don't doubt there was a Halloween episode, but those yo, any votes for Passion like of the Christ? Any Passion of the Christ? Oh, I'm a big Passion of the Christ. <laughs> yeah, I love Jim Caviezel. <laughs> I'm into it. I'm, I'm a big it. Caviezel guy. I'm a big Caviezel guy. I'm a big Gibby guy. I love Mel Gibby. He's one of my faves. Um, I'll, I'll throw in a vote for Passion of the Christ. I love. Dude, oh my fun. God, trashiest! No, he's just uh, Independence Day is the greatest ho- holiday theme movie of all time. That's I not, saw that's, Independence that's Day. Wrong. Yeah. That's a great no. point. I, I, I really saw it in the theater on July third. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Independence Day. How do I never yeah. really thought Although... of it as a holiday movie, but it but it actually is. fucking definitely is. is. That's like meta. That's like that's like really. That's, big. If that's you saw really it in the theater, the it actually turned midnight when it turned midnight in the movie. It was fucking great. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. High. Welcome to Earth. That's right. <laughs> Earth Day. Right. That fucking Bill Pullman speech. You oh know, my god! So every so day, so every high. day I wake up and watch the Bill Pullman speech <laughs> before I go to work. <laughs> All oh, right. Man. Next question. At penis ass sixty nine. Great Twitter handle of all time. Uh, why does APL smell better unconscious? I don't. I don't even know what this well, is in reference to. I don't either, but because there is there is this guy named Mr. Rogers in my stream who all, who donates all the time, but he he leaves really creepy messages about like he's <laughs> he's like, "Hey APL, I drank the rest of your milk. Is it okay? Is it is it okay? I put another gallon in there for you. By the way, your PJs feel great." So, I don't know if this is him <laughs> or or God, who it is. weird. I don't um, know. It's very odd. But go but, ahead and guess. Uh so I think that people smell different while they sleep. Really? This is a personal is theory of mine. Like, I've been married for a while. My wife smells different while sleeping. Not like what, right did you away. smell your wife? You no, sleep? I just like, huh. it smells different. Ambient smells. Yeah. It's, really? I've like, never. Yeah. Uh, My, I, I've I don't noticed, smell people like, often while they're sleeping. Except for Scott. Yeah. yeah. I smell Scott all the time. Um, I. So you excrete a certain like a uh, you yeah you're you're... just totally you're just there so I mean you're kind of you know you're not moving your own smell is on you probably a lot thicker while you sleep Mm, that's true because you're just because if you were you know if you're moving around your your pheromones you're trailing it yeah Yeah, fanning it away a bit I (laughs) can say that I've that I've experienced this like a different smell when someone's sleeping. Oh, I don't just real, sniff real, my wife. Real up close next to Hillary and just Richie sleeping right over top of her. Go deep with. <laughs> well, no, it's and the now. exact opposite. I do that every night. <laughs> I do oh, that every it's, night. Night. it's always the same smell. 
I just hasn't changed that for you. Yeah. I mean, I have maybe now, your musk gets trapped in the sheets. Could be. Yeah, that's what Dalesy saying. Could be. Saying yeah, Dalesy saying it's the bed. The yeah, funk. which could be. You know, I mean, we wash our sheets, so I mean. I feel like if you're going to have one object in the world that smells the mo- the strongest of whatever your scent is, it's going to be your bed. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe true. your office yeah. chair, but a lot of them are leather. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you're excreting, you're farting, you're drooling on the thing. Like, yeah, yeah it's going to have a little bit of every everything from you. Your body's like getting out I, a lot of toxins while you sleep. True, too. true. So. You ever wear those? Just- Speaking of real quick with the toxin thing, I keep I remember this advertisement for you put these pads on your feet that like suck the toxins out of your body and then the pads are dirty. Have you seen those? I've I I'm, I've I'm sorry, Scott. In- what? <laughs> no, I'm, I don't know if it's real or not, but I saw it and I wanted to, to see if it actually worked. I guess I'm I, I'll find it. I'll find it. Hold on. Sauce Fancy in chat asks, I wonder what it's like to do coke off a sleeping person. <laughs> I Probably mean, like it is to do coke off an awake person. Yeah, no, it's a totally different context. <laughs> it's totally different. It's very different contextually. <laughs> it's the smell of a fresh cuckolding. Can we not? Can we stop? Can we no, you're right, Dale Z. Like, it is kind of gross how much shit we do in our beds, and then we get it back into them the next night. You're not washing your sheets every day either. You are probably farting like a crazy person all night, and you don't even know it. Yeah. Oh, I I know it. I wait. <laughs> wait, Jesus! Your wife, your wife uses them. She just tweeted me, Dan. What the, the ads she? I'm talking about? Yeah, she said they're real. I Crazy. use them. Megan, tweet me the tweet me the link of for them. I'm gonna purchase them. <laughs> they blew my mind because like obviously like it's an infomercial, so I didn't know how real it was. But at the end of the night, you can see all the toxins came out through your feet, the bottom of your feet. It's fucking weird, man. I know. I don't know. It it's could just be that you didn't wash your feet sweat. enough, uh, you know, in yeah. the shower. It, it just sucked <laughs> the dirt off your feet. Or if you sweat out your feet in the night, yeah, you're definitely going to, yeah. Could. Okay. <laughs> it was an ancient weird. Japanese technology. Yeah, I think you're right. I, we saw the same infomercial. You're right. <laughs> if you're sleeping when you do the coke, you don't have to look into their disappointed eyes. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Mad pup. Wow. Jesus. Um, wow. God, that's real dark, actually. <laughs> All right. Uh, Next question from Mitch M. He writes in, I've been recently grinding the spoiler character on Rebirth for that Platinum God swag, and it's caused me to descend into an endless madness. What impossible challenge in a game has made you want to commit seppuku, but you couldn't stop trying over and over again? Um, Mm. The most fresh one in my memory is, because I'm not very good at Dark Souls, was Ornstein and Smo. The first time, like I went yeah. in there blind, no spoilers, and I, I, I took like seven hours to kill those motherfuckers. Yeah, I, I was like, somewhere around the same. Yeah, that. Um, but I kept going back though. Like I kept banging my head off that thing. <clears throat> I would, I would probably say trying to speed run uh, Shovel Knight because it's like speedrunning in, in general is very, very difficult. And Shovel Knight is like being an old school kind of game. It's like a lot of sort of like tactile uh, skill that's needed that I don't really have and haven't really needed before. Like, you know, like toenail jumps and certain like really, really like pixel specific jumps um, that have just been frustrating as hell. And like after after dying in the same spot, like six or seven times, you just want to end it like you just want to be done. But you you keep going and you keep like trying to I, I never actually ended up getting so like I just don't find speedrunning very fun. I, I think I'm just not cut out for it. So I ended up never getting like a sub one hour run yeah, when you world record have is a like 45 for minutes that shit, or something. Dude. You do like I respect <laughs> speedrunners a lot because after trying it myself, like that shit is hard. Like, People that do the know. long games more than anybody else, like dude, dude does yeah. like a six hour speed run of Final Fantasy is like reset. Yeah. yeah. Fuck. Yeah. A lot of a lot of like Final Fantasy speedrunners, if their run doesn't go well, if they like get screwed over via, you know, RNG or something, they just can't run again that night because they're they're like they're like four hours into a run and then like bad RNG <laughs> happens, like through no fault of their own, completely killing their run, and then they just have to like go play another game for the rest it's of their stream. Like, yeah. And they're just like they're like, no, if I if I start another game right now, I, there's no possible way I can beat my PB after that happened. And if I start another game right now, I will be up until five in the morning, if I, if that run completes. So another one is and John, I don't think Brand Brandon didn't raid this far into Brand Crusade, but uh, when I was doing. 
Maru attempts in Sunwell was one of, but that was a group thing. It wasn't just a um, me being able to reset. But we did Maru for like three or four weeks, three 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 nights a week, just banging our say heads that for a lot of WoW raids. I mean, Cthune, like, yeah, I remember, I remember farming, trying to uh, trying to get Rag down for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just the thing about the game back then too is the amount of consumables you were farming to get there too. So it's just like hundreds and hundreds of hours yeah. um like just banging your head off this thing and you knew that half the attempts you were going to do were just going to end in you know two or three minutes <laughs> like into this boss and you're just going to have to do it again you're spending more time getting set up to fight the boss again than you've spent actually fighting the boss yeah well, that's, that's think... basically like all of old wow yeah yeah, yeah. you'd spend like half an hour corpse running and then a minute wiping. Cthune, yep. dude, it was like a freaking 25 minute run back to that stupid boss. It was like, yep. you had to like individually <laughs> cast like arcane intellect on people and shit. And then that, uh, that top guild got banned for figuring out a way to glitch through the floor so they could stop having to do that long run back for Cthune wipes. <laughs> yeah. Remember that? Yep. Good guy, Blizzard. I just fucking I mean, done that again. I remember sitting there like loving Maru, but also being like, we're never going to do this. Like there were times where you're just like, this is never going to happen. <laughs> yeah. And it's not even like the, the one or 2% wipes that are most discouraging. It's like the 10% where you're like, this was going oh, yeah. fine. And we were almost there. And then we <laughs> had whatever fuck up it was like, God, dude, that was that. I've never banged my head off anything like wow raids. And I think about it, but Ornstein Smo is right up there as far as, I had to keep doing it though, you know. Yeah, had I could not stop. Um, I'd say for me, the most frustrating thing. There's this part. I don't know if you guys uh, remember in uh, in Black Mesa or Half Life, where okay. you have to jump onto this. Uh, you have to jump onto this like vent thing, and like you hit space bar, and you keep jumping, but you can't get on top of it. And you just keep hitting space bar, and you just get madder and madder. And you're recording a let's play, and your name's Dark Side Phil, and it's just the most frustrating <laughs> thing ever. And you just can't get up. And it's like click. And it's like the game's broken. It's broken. And then uh, and then millions of people uh, watch you do it, and it's the worst thing in the world. That was the hardest thing I've ever had to. I actually that was the hardest thing I ever had to watch. Uh, and also also play because I felt like I was there experiencing the pain. <laughs> and that's that's for me. Um, All right. This okay. is uh, let's say learning uh, learning bridge to rail and quake because it seriously took me like three months. It's just a simple strafe jump. Three months to oh, do damn. one jump. Pretty rough. Jesus. And I can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> now I've lost it. Time well spent. <laughs> I actually had a I had a um. I had a different answer, but then when John John just reminded me that probably the thing I've spent the most time on are uh, old enemy territory trick jumping maps. Trick jumping, yeah. That uh, that I mean, they weren't impossible, but they were really difficult, and like I I ended up beating all of them, but it took me it took me so long. Um, that's probably the, that's that's the closest thing I've done to just like banging my head against the wall constantly. Uh, but I was actually I don't know why I thought of this. But uh, something that stands out to me is the uh, the PlayStation Two game Stuntman. Yes, uh, that is had, a great one, dude. That is a great one. Stuntman is had, like, one of the most these, frustrating games. Yeah, ever. it was it was like these these challenges for yes. pulling off pulling off these stunts. Yes. And I just remember, I just remember like not even being able to come close. Like I I would attempt them and to you know to pass or whatever, it would be like a third of the time that I got. And I just I, I remember doing that nonstop, and I I just never really got anywhere. That game. Stuntman's a brilliant hard. answer. My brother beat that game fully, but I remember it took him like he had a. It was during the summer one year, and he it spent a week on Stuntman, like playing the same level like over and over and over again. Yeah, that game was legendarily hard. Driver was Mechanic also cars. extremely hard. The yeah, original yeah. Driver yeah, had original. some missions where I would lose by seconds getting yep. to whatever yeah. the point was, or the game would crash a lot. That game was super buggy. Yep. So, God, Driver was super good though. Yeah, Never those, those games were like the pre the pre GTA games where it was just driving, mm -hmm. like Driver and Stuntman. Those I, I really liked those games, and so both of those I spent I spent a ton of time trying to do their their challenges and stuff. Those were like really difficult games. Yeah. Or at least they were when I was you know in middle school. Yeah, Sean. God. Sean beating Ninja Gaiden, he's saying <laughs> took him a week, didn't turn the NES off, 
because you couldn't save, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. I remember Sean being Ninja Sonic Gaiden 3. was really hard now that I think about it. Even the newest one, uh, the one on Xbox 360, Sigma. was like, like absurdly difficult. Yep, that's what they do. Battletoads, God. Um. <laughs> Big Ray Gun said he never beat the tutorial in Driver. He jokes, but the tutorial in Driver, I remember the same thing. Like, I, it took me forever to figure out what they wanted you to do. Yeah. I went back and I got that as an emulator just to play it recently to kind of see if it was as good as I remember. And obviously the game hasn't aged all that well. But <laughs> like back in the day, I thought it was like the best looking game of all time. And uh, Jeez. someone just fell down. Steve? My dogs okay. are attacking each other. Okay. The fuck? And, um, the, the, the tutorial in Driver doesn't really give you any direction. It just gives you the move list to do. And you could get like eight of or like seven of them done and then not figure out like what it wants you to fucking do. It's like I did a fucking, you know, I, did I remember a that figure eight or whatever. So I totally I can I can relate to that. Yeah. The that. tutorial in Driver was was hilarious. All right. Damn it. Final question. It's not really a question. It's more of a story. Although there is a question <laughs> at the end. Oh, God. Uh, Anion has written us a letter. Uh, it's been a bit. You can check out his last one on our YouTube, youtube.com slash Um It was pretty good. It had a very big twist as well. Um, <laughs> so <clears throat> this is a letter from Anion once again. Suddenly, he rushes inside and demands all the money in my wallet, as well as a copy of Halo, the Master Chief collection. That's when I knew something was off. It's not even a thief would steal that game. <laughs> oh, I then saw the Microsoft logo embroidered on his man purse. <laughs> embroidered on his man purse. This wasn't a robbery. This was a sales pitch. Oh, no. You, the Major Nelson sounding <laughs> robber said as he pointed a gun on me. Give me your watch. How would you rate your experience on Windows 8.1? <laughs> I glanced at the man in the eye and said, two out of ten. Immediately, I noticed oh, the no, over... You missed, uh, you missed the sound. Oh, did I? Oh, shit. I glanced over at the store clerk and noticed that he had pulled out a Microsoft Surface and was using it as a stand for his <laughs> iPad while he took notes on what I would say. I looked the man in the eye and said, two out of ten. Immediately, I noticed the overwhelming smell of shit emanating from his pants. That's impossible. Do you know about all the apps you can pin to your metro window? <laughs> I walked up to the man, leaned over, and whispered in his ear, Classic shell. <laughs> shit streamed down his pant leg as his knee started to buckle. He pointed the gun back at me and said, get on your knees, give me your wallet, and take this code for 25% off your next Xbox Marketplace digital download. <laughs> I did as he ordered, but as he was about to hand me the code, I told him, I'm sorry, I only have a Wii U. He collapsed onto the floor, mouth foaming. I stood up, bought four copies of Wii Fit for my overweight relatives, Pressed F over his twitching body <laughs> to pay my respects and walked out of the store. I can't. <laughs> my question for the cast is Did I handle the situation well? And what should I do with all these copies of NBA 2K15 I looted during the chaos? <laughs> I can't. I... Oh, wow. Wow. Uh, I, oh. I I like that you were respectful. <laughs> yeah. I, the, the I did pay, not I read mean, this before. Many people would not have pressed F to pay their <sighs> respects in your shoes. R.I.P. Major Nelson. Bless him. <laughs> I uh I did not read this beforehand. Like I glanced over the first couple of paragraphs. Oh I did not God. see the press F. No, me section. either. No, I, I knew it was going to be good from the first, so I didn't read the whole thing, but wow. Uh, Anion's just on some kind of streak right now, isn't he? I point. mean, it's make sure days. you follow the channel as well, guys, because Katie Zen said he's working on something. Oh, no. So, uh -oh. I feel oh, like no. I feel like Katie Zen is sort of the yin to Anion's yang. Yeah. 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 Because he's like really well, well written stories that always have that twist at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> press F to pay <laughs> specs. 
I especially like the fucking shots fired at CNN, which used had the whole thing where they were using surfaces as stands for their yeah. iPads. Yeah, yeah, that's actually maybe my favorite part. He pulled out a Microsoft Surface and was using it as a stand for his <laughs> iPad. <laughs> I also love the whispered in his ear, classic shell. <laughs> God damn it. Holy moly, dude. Oh. Well. Wow. <laughs> thank you, Anion. Wow. For the letter. Um. <laughs> I don't know, man. That's incredible. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching episode 169 of the uh, KB Mod podcast. Make sure you follow all of us on Twitter at APL Fisher at Blacklight Attack at KB Mod John at Volition and I am at Nipnops TV. Um, make sure you follow this channel on Twitch. We stream every single day here. And um, if you really want to support the stream, please consider subscribing. Uh, we will be back. If you don't want to subscribe, you should go rate us on iTunes. Yes. Even if you watch it live, yes. Yes. You, you probably have some sort of iOS device, or your parents do. Yeah. So you can use their phone or their iPad and go to iTunes and then rate the cast. Yeah. Rate, it. rate yeah. the cast. You can also use their credit card to subscribe as rate well. Rate the cast and join our, our cavalcade of reviews on there with Mr. Charles Hodes, <laughs> who has a review <laughs> of the <He> podcast. <laughs> Mr. C. Hodes, father of five. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sean has a review yeah, the, on the great too, thing right? about those reviews is you don't have to leave your real name. All yeah. that matters is that you give us five right. stars. The rest of it is is frankly irrelevant. Yeah. But if you leave something funny or you have a question or whatever, we do look at those. Yeah, make sure you check out kbmod.com. Follow on Twitter at kbmodgaming. Check out all the stuff below the stream. And uh, we'll see you next week. I believe we will have a cast before Christmas, but I think we'll probably have a cast next week for episode 170. Um, if we don't, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. That's nothing. Great. But yeah, episode 170 next week, uh, hopefully. <laughs> it is around the holidays, so we'll see. Um, same time, same place. We will see you guys next week. Farewell. Peace. Somebody yata for Nick. Yeah.